Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I have um, empties here. This is from several months. Um, the title will have um, how many months um, all of these empties are for. But there's a lot because my basket is overflowing. So let's get started. First thing up is these Downy Unstoppables. I love these and I just repurchased them. This is in the spring scent and um, I just love them. I use them mostly for my sheets and my towels. That's all that I use them for, but I really, really like those. And then this is a Glade Be Ravishing. It's from the spring collection. It's in one of those automatic... Um, sprayers and you know it goes off every 18 minutes or so that I set it for and it just you know a puff of freshness in the land <laughs> let's see crest toothpaste I'm a crest girl I love crest um I I do have Colgate in there right now that is a little sample that I got from something and that's what I'm using but I prefer crest I used up my last of my Kirkland's uh, makeup wipes. I really like these. This came in a big old box. There's 30 in this pack and I use them up so next time I go to Costco I need to pick up some more. Used up some cotton rounds. I use these to take off my eye makeup, um, nail polish um, sometimes, but this is just the HEB. It's the um, grocery store here in Texas that I buy these from, and they work just fine, and I have repurchased. Excuse me. Um, recently, I purchased some masks at Marshall's, and this is one of them here. This is a 20-minute miracle mask. It's lemon and orange, and there was a box of three or five I can't remember I have them in my bathroom and I'm using them up but um, I'm addicted to sheet masks now love them went through this soft soap Bally Bliss I um, like to get the limited edition of soft soaps and try them out um, you know very seasonal I like that um, suave fresh deodorant went through this um, that's pretty much my main go-to deodorant is suave. Used up aloe vera. This is a cooling gel and it's from Walgreens. It's the Walgreens brand. brand. Um, my son and I had um, some sun issues this summer. We did not protect very well when we went to the water parks and to the beach and so we needed that. Oh here's another one of those Glade Be Edgy automatic sprayers. Let's see, um, here's some sample things in here that I went through. This here was a mask. Um, you probably have seen these as a pill-off mask that I purchased. It was uh, just a dollar or two, and um, it was okay. Then I had a sample of the Suave Moroccan Oil. I really like this, and my hair did too, but I couldn't find it, and I ended up getting the coconut one that I'm using right now, and I'm just not as crazy as I was for the Moroccan Oil. And this here is a um, Mary Kay sample of lip gloss, and it doesn't have the name of it on here, so I can't tell you what it was, but it was a very nice. It wasn't really tacky. You know, some lip glosses can be real goopy and tacky, but this wasn't, and I really enjoyed it. And I have put it on a wish list to purchase from my consultant here in the fall. Went through an Aussie Three Minute Miracle. This is a mainstay in my shower. I love it. Um, a friend of mine is a consultant for the Rodden and Fields skincare line, and she sent me a sample of this abrasive uh, micro derma abrasive paste and I really like this. This was so awesome. I really liked it. And then she sent me um, two little capsule. One is the night serum and one was a lip serum. And they, oh, my skin felt so good. So all the wonderful things you were hearing about this brand, they are true. They are. And I really, really enjoyed those. So um, my cousin started selling it so I probably will buy from her. I um, went through this Studio 35 Beauty Alpha Hydrox Face Cream. Um, my mom purchased this and it wasn't good for her skin, so she passed it on to me and I used it up. I've used that before and it was okay. 
you know. Um, this is a Ole Regenerist um, Moisture Night Cream. This is my go-to night cream. This is the one I will buy unless I have a sample of something else that I need to try. This here is a Lavender Vanilla Shea Hand Cream. Went through this. I purchased this at, um, I think, H-E-B, my local grocery store. It's nice. Um, they had several different scents, and I picked them all up, so i got to go through those. This is my Renew Live Ultimate Floor Pro Probiotic Gummies. I take these daily, and they are fabulous for me. Shampoo and conditioner. This is the Suave Carotene Infused Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. Went through both of these babies. Suave and L'Oreal are my go-to shampoos. If you've been here a while, you have seen that. Went through a hand soap. This is from last year. This is a Honey Pineapple Pumpkin. Went through this hand soap. It's a foaming soap. So I purchased this last fall and um, finally got through that. Oh, here's Pons, the wet cleansing towelettes. I don't care for Pons. The cloths are very open like um, doilies or lace and I just don't care for that texture. So I would not repurchase. Opti Free Replenish. This is for my contacts. I am a contact wearer. This here is so small. Hill Country Essentials, which is from HEB. This is a Renewing Eye Lift Serum. I really enjoy this serum. This is my go-to serum as well, and I usually pick this up um, unless I have something else that I am trying out. Went through a little sample of Caress um, Shower Gel in the scent Mystique mm, Forever, maybe? Oh no, I can't read it. I got this in a Walmart beauty box, I do believe. Um, I'm getting rid of this. This is my Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat. This is my go to top coat for nail polishes. This is getting real stringy and goopy, so it's time to say goodbye. This here is a night serum from Mary Kay. I tried this out, really like it. I have several more samples to go through that. Let's see, here's another Sally Hansen Insta Dry. And I went through this La Bella chapstick. I've gone all the way to the end of it. So um, this was really good. This was a gift, so I don't know if you could purchase that here. I think it's made in Germany or something. Not sure. Then went through this um, perfume. This is a Fendi perfume. And I can't even read it. But I went through this little sampler um, of perfume. It was nice. Um, I don't think I would purchase it, but it was nice to try. And then the last thing was in a um, Ipsy bag or something, birch box. This is, um, is it Joyer? 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 Oh, brand, excuse me. And inside of it were two samples. A foundation one was in a light shade and one was in a darker shade and um, the darker shade looked the best on me right now the lighter shade was just a little too light it was okay but you know it's hard to tell with such a small sample for one day so um, I don't know if I would repurchase that but anyway oops nope one more thing one more thing one little thing <laughs> this here is also a, a perfume sample this is Flower by Kenzo. Ken, Ken, yeah, Kenzo. So I went through that little sample of perfume as well. So that is all my empties. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day where you are, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye.